I'm going to read you a little excerpt from my book, Simon Ball, Artist, Drawn from Life. I'm going to take you back to the 1990s. I honestly can't remember the first time I really saw Georgia O'Keeffe's paintings, but in the middle of my most productive years in the etching studio, I began to feel the need to break out from the constraints forced onto me by the size and scope of copper plate etching. All I can say is that sap rises. Whether it is pulled towards the light of the sun by some inevitable force, or plants just need a drink. Either way, as the 1990s drew towards their close, I felt the sap rising in me, like the poppies that unfurled their furry buds in the early summer outside my studio window. A new flowering was about to burst into the garden of my own creative life. Try as we may, none of us can stay the same. We are forced into the cold dawn of a thousand new days. No, life is motion, flow. Life looks forward, it happens on the leading edge of the present, not the trailing. And so we ride towards our new selves, the selves that have always been there waiting for us. When Georgia O'Keeffe painted a flower, it was not flower size, so to speak, but hundreds or thousands of times bigger than the real thing. As I considered this one morning, I came to understand three things. One, that rendering small, colourful things much bigger than they were gave the opportunity of using colour not only for the details but also the main feature of a work. Secondly, when something naturally tiny is enlarged, the viewer becomes, by default, smaller. By painting huge close-ups of flowers, I could create a world that felt like it could be climbed into. The sheer scale opened a mythical space. You could finally see Narnia from here, and that meant you were more likely to go there, if only for a moment. Thirdly, her flowers, leaves, and mountains spoke of the epic fertility that stood at the center of everything. For example, the piece that's behind me, which has been done through the spin technique, is a sort of evolution of some of the ideas that I started in my work when I was doing more figurative, more detailed work back in the 90s. Now I've just gone for the colour and the overall feeling to draw you into a new and remarkable world of possibilities.